Okay, so this is officially the year of the weekend. She told me don't worry about it. Not like a year where you don't have to go to work or where weekends are mega important. No, I mean the weekend. The weekend. Weekend. God, that's a stupid stage name for one guy. I'm gonna start calling him the Wee K N D. But anyway, you see this pineapple haired Canadian here? That's the weekend. He sings R&B songs and he's absolutely huge right now. He's had three top 10 hits so far this year, one of which is currently sitting at number one. The Weeknd is on fire. <sighs> Look, this isn't the first time I've encountered The Weeknd. You may recall that I put an Ariana Grande song with The Weeknd the guest verse on my top 10 list. Now it only ranked at number 10, specifically because I did not like his portion of the song. So what do I do if I can't figure it out? Dude, if Ariana Grande wants to have sex with you, you figure it out. He followed that up this year with his first real smash solo hit, Earned It. Yes indeed, madam. You have worked hard enough to earn my genitals. Now this was off the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack, and as far as I'm concerned, that fits perfectly, cause... Well, it's sexy to somebody. To a lot of people, apparently. And I don't get it. I just don't get it. See, the thing is, I was made aware of The Weeknd long before this year. He's actually been very popular in some circles. Not necessarily in the mainstream, but for people in the know. He makes these R&B songs that are just... Just really, really filthy. And people really like it. The Weeknd has been the music critic world's favorite R&B guy for a few years now. But I've tried, and I've tried, and I just do not understand the appeal. And there's one big reason for that. I hate his singing. Yay! That nardless, leaking balloon of a voice he sings in is just unbearable. I would legitimately rather listen to Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap sounds like a walrus being punched. I've never really understood why people sing like this. I know this kind of high-pitched squeal was popular back in the 80s, and it made a comeback in the 2000s, but I don't see why. Do we really need another El DeBarge? Every time I hear The Weeknd, I think, wow, this guy needs to upgrade to direct TV. And I'm really high voice, Peyton Manning, and I have cable. What makes it worse is that he makes music that, well, as far as soundtracks are getting freaky go, he's got kind of a different take on it. It isn't smooth lover man stuff like in the 70s, or your more smutty hip hop style stuff like Jason Derulo or Trey songs. No, this shit is dark. Like, no quiet storm stuff for him. I would describe his music more as sexy vampire music. Like, if vampires were into R&B instead of shitty goth rock, this is what they would be into. So The Weeknd is all like, you know, I'm dark and cold. I don't care about you or anybody. I'm just a dangerous animal on the prowl. I'm like a sexual predator. Okay, maybe that's bad phrasing. At the very least, he's better at it than Adam Levine. Still funny. But yeah, I can't ignore the guy since he's doing so well, and since he has a number one single right now, I figured I should cover it. It's either that or pretend I care about that cheerleader song at all. Well, let's get this over with. With his new number one smash, here is The Weeknd. We both know we can't go without it. She told me you'll never be in love. Oh, oh. Ooh, I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. But I love it. Oh, I can feel my face when I'm with you. I but I love it. I love it. Okay, fine. Actually, this is not so bad. Yeah, this is a. This is kind of alright. I, I don't actually mind this. Wow, I don't get the chance to do many positive reviews. Alright, well, let's go back and figure out why this one actually sort of works. And I know she'll be the death of me, at least we'll both be numb. Okay, first off. Wait, what? Wait, wh what? No, no I'm not. No, no, this is the number one hit song by The Weeknd. Can't feel my face. I looked it up! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
I have just been informed that this is not actually the song I was supposed to be reviewing. Apparently, this was last week's number one The Weeknd song. And while this episode was being set up, that number one song by The Weeknd got replaced by a new number one song by The Weeknd. Christ. You know, I was wondering why that song didn't sound like the song I was playing in the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that right in the title, too. I gotta pay more attention to these things. Okay, so this song is upbeat like the last one, right? I only called you and it's half past the only time eh, nope. Back to more moody, downbeat songs about doing it. Okay, this one is called The Hills. Beverly Hills, I guess. Not that I'll ever be able to associate him with anything but the snow-capped Canadian tundra. Well, anyway, let's see how this goes. I'm not answering that. Your man on the road, he doing promo. You said keep our business on the low, low. Oh, good, a cheating song. I guess he's going for an amoral, unlikable, but irresistible sex god thing here. Maybe he can pull that off. I'm just trying to get you out the friend zone. Cause you look even better than the photo. I'm just trying to get you out the friend zone. What? 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 Look, I'm not one of those people who thinks friend zone is an inherently offensive concept. I do know that there are some whiny douchebags out there who complain about being friend zoned, like having friends is the worst thing in the world. But as a neutral term, I think it's pretty useful. I mean, I've been friend zoned, I've put other people in the friend zone. It happens. I'm just saying, if you're trying to be this dick swinging alpha stud, you should probably not say things like, we're in the friend zone. That's a term that instantly marks you as a loser, and I say that as a proud loser. Cause you look even better than the photos. Wait a minute, you look even better than the photos? Did you just meet? How are you in the friend zone? To be in the friend zone, first you have to be friends. The definition of friend zone isn't, I haven't fucked you yet. I don't know the way some douchebags use it. Maybe it is. I only called you when it's half past so, um, well, here's the hook, such as it is. I only love it when you touch me, not feel me when I'm fucked up. That's a real me when I'm fucked up. That's a real me, yeah. He's lit and ready to screw. He's into having sex. He ain't into making love. And he only calls you when it's half past five for some reason. Come on, dude, what's wrong with a little afternoon delight? I mean, are you... Hey, wait a minute, is he actually a vampire after all? You know, some kind of vampire weekend? That's stupid. Also, I, I, I thought they hadn't had sex yet. I mean, weren't you in the friend zone or something? But now you're talking about making booty calls like it's a regular thing. I have no idea what the timeline of this song is. I'ma let you know and keep it simple. Trying to keep it up don't seem so simple. Did he just say that he can't, uh... Oh, I misheard that. I just fucked two bitches for I saw you. And you gon' have to do it at my tempo. <laughs> nope, I was not imagining that. He is actually literally warning her that he might not be able to get it up. He's already spent, plus he's drunk. Get ready for some intense and totally not awkward lovemaking, ladies. I mean, I assume he's drunk. He, he did crash his car there. I guess he could mean he's high on something else. Helium, maybe. But yeah, I guess he could mean he's on some other drugs. But if Can't Feel My Face was fueled by an exhilarating shot of face-numbing cocaine, the Hills is a gulp of mind-slowing cough syrup. I, I can't imagine someone who didn't have a voice like Minnie Mouse pulling this off, but with The weekend, it just sounds slow and sleepy and stuporous. But like I said, someone's into it. Someone likes this guy's voice and wants to hear him sing about having sexy hill sex. Or whatever the hell The Hills is supposed to mean, am I right? Hills
The Hills Have Eyes? Do you even know what that is? It's a goddamn horror movie! And not one of those PG-13 ones with a bunch of pretty teenagers either. Man, I was just joking about the spooky horror stuff, but apparently I was not. I was not expecting this song to be a tribute to the late Wes Craven, I'll tell you that much. Well, it's not a particularly well-conceived tribute in any case. Like, there are sexy horror movies, but The Hills Have Eyes is not one of them. D do you even know why The Hills Have Eyes? Because they're inhabited by inbred mutant cannibals. Is this the image you wanted to invoke? Really? No one wants to think about that. That's like if Rihanna wrote her song about S&M and started singing about Leatherface. Okay, even if we ignore that, let's let's just somehow forget that he just referenced a profoundly unerotic horror movie. Like, maybe he's using the phrase for atmosphere. But still, you don't want the hills to have eyes. Remember, she's cheating. She wants to keep her business on the low. She wants as few eyes on this as possible, from the hills or from anybody. Okay, I'll give you that one the weekend. She does not have any right to judge you. She's the one cheating. Al although, who are you to care? You present yourself as this I don't give a fuck player dude and all of a sudden you're awfully defensive. Yeah, I just fuck two bitches. You're gonna have to go at my tempo. And don't hurt my feelings. This is just the weirdest goddamn song. Like you get this dark menacing vibe, but then you get this guy who sounds like a munchkin. He presents himself as this badass ladies man, and then he's all whiny, and then he invokes one of the most infamously gritty, ugly grindhouse movies in history. I, I don't get it. I don't get it, and I don't like it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just don't understand what he's going for, but whatever that is, it is just not working. It, it's not working for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, let's end on that. I'm Todd in the Shadows, and I'm out. I'm a small little